Hey, it's Chris Dungany, a founder of Conscious Education and the Conscious Education Podcast. I'm excited to bring a video to you today that I think is uh, very, very important. And, and it's going to help you to be able to create more of what you love and, and less of what you don't. And this is a, a concept or idea that has come to me after helping thousands and thousands of people uh, to create a life they love. Now, what a lot of people do is they don't create a true choice. And a true choice is a very specific a choice in your life that you want to create and it has some specific rules. Many people do everything else but a true choice. And I did this too. Uh, everything that's not a true choice is known as a negative vision. It is, it is a way that you're trying to compensate or create based on a problem that you see in your life. So, so here's some ways that people create a negative vision instead of a true choice. Uh, one of the main ones is people live out of reaction. So there's something in their life going on. Maybe they, they hate their job or don't like their boss or uh, maybe they, they can't fit their favorite uh, trousers or, or uh, they, they want, there's something in their life not right, so they react and they say, well, I'm going to go start this business or I'm going to start this new, this diet. What happens is all the power is given to the thing you don't want. And so they race away only to get a little bit away from it and, and they fall back into the same patterns. The next way that people are in a negative vision is they're actually trying to do something to compensate for a, for a negative belief or a wound that they have about themselves. And and some of these negative beliefs are, you know, I'm not good enough. So someone says, hey, I'm not good enough. They feel internally not good enough. So instead of going and doing what they love, they're going to do something to try to prove that they're good enough. What happens is this becomes so unfulfilling because they don't actually want the thing that they're going after. They want to feel good enough. Another one is not worthy. A not worthy person who, who has a belief, rather, everyone's, of course, worthy. This person has this belief that they're not worthy. They try to do really good things in life. So they're going to go out there and be good. And this idea that if they be good enough, then the world will just give them um, what it is that they want. And they become quite resentful because, uh, you know, just because you go help a lot of people doesn't mean that you necessarily get what you want. Uh, another one is uh, I don't belong. And so instead of trying to go for what they want, they're trying to belong. Anyway, th there's a bunch of uh, different ways that people are trying to solve or compensate for what's going on internally. Uh, another one is instead of going for what people want, they actually go indirect. So what they what they really want is to be a musician or an artist or to have financial freedom. And, and instead of just going for, for what they truly want or they want to have a relationship they love or a body they love, they, they go they go a different way. And I know that sounds crazy to say out loud, but but I once had this client actually, and what he really wanted was to spend time with his kids. But what he was doing was was trying to build a business to make over $10 million a year and put a CEO in place so that he had enough uh, time and money to go and spend time with his kids. When if he just chose to go have time with his kids, he actually realized that a smaller business was actually better for him. And look, there's many other ways uh, that you're not in a true choice. And every single one of them creates oscillation. So, so what is a true choice? Well, a true choice is, is just something you want to create for no other reason than you would love it. You would just love to see it manifest. When you orient to what you're creating in a, in a way that you, you just want it because you want to see the thing exist, whether that's an, a, an amazing family, uh, a, you know, a, a body of a certain composition, uh, a certain financial outcome, you, you just want it just because. And, and this concept struck me so deeply when I first learned it, because I was always trying to create a business that changed lots of people's lives, because truthfully, I didn't feel good enough. And I thought if I change a lot of lives, then, then I'd be good enough. And, 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 uh, uh, and, you know, I was out there and said, you know, I've got to eat this certain way. I've got to do this because I want to be able to feel good. And so I, I wasn't feeling good because I was too busy conditioning myself or restricting myself. And so I was going in directly, or if there was something wrong in my life, I would react and I would go. And, and what I what I found is that life was very stressful and very serious. When I reoriented that all of my creations are a game and that I'm already bigger, already whole, already healed, I'm already everything that I'm supposed to be already. Uh, once, once I arrived at that point, you know, I created a $20 million business and a book that sold 60,000 copies. And, you know, on the Wall Street Journal, we, we moved to paradise. We, we, we built a multi-million dollar property portfolio. Uh, you know, we launched multiple companies and, and, and created a big impact. But it was all fun because I was just choosing to create things that I wanted to exist for no other reason. And one thing I battled with a lot is I really love building companies. I really love speaking. I love being busy. 
I had these ideas that since I, you know, become a, a DECA millionaire and a totally financially free and, you know, one of my investments was paying me $60,000 a month on average that I should be uh, relaxing and I should be uh, hanging out on the beach and I should, should, should. And, and so I tried it and I was like, I was so unhappy. I would, I would sit on the beach or I'd go on these fancy holidays and, you know, I'd buy, you know, super expensive cars. I spent over $400,000 on a car and I did all these things because that's what I thought I should do now that I was financially free and wealthy. And, and, and what I realized was that what I really wanted to do with my time and what I love and what was exciting to me and what was fun was actually to build a really amazing company, a huge culture to employ some absolute rock stars to change people's lives and to be engaged and that was actually the most fun thing to do i made it a choice again it was fun it was no longer obligation it was no longer had to's or shoulds or that it was just something that i chose and and uh, i'd done this in many areas of my life but when i made that final shift it was like i was still doing the same things but I was just in joy of it. Whether it works out or it doesn't work out, I'm in joy. I'm, I'm able to be focused. And so, so this is what I notice with a lot of people is as they go on their creative journey, as there's something that they want to see made manifest, they want to take something from the invisible, from their thoughts and see it turn up in the third dimension in, the, in this reality. As, as, they're, as they're going on that process, they get so serious. And in the seriousness, they lose moments of their life. They make it mean more than it means. A million dollars won't change you. It will just give you some more choices. The relationship you really must have, it won't really change you. It happens now, it happens here. And, and once you understand this, you can just have true choices. Once you understand that the now is the best it's ever gonna be and you get to choose for it to be great, you just choose to manifest because that's what you would love. Anyway, this is video number two uh, in this series of, uh, of me explaining some of the myths and mistakes that I have seen helping a ton of people understand how to harness the power of their super conscious and create what they love. So please subscribe, share this video and, and check out the other ones. Love you so much and uh, look forward to talking to you very soon. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.